in an effort to not be so close up on my face, I'm reshooting this and hopefully I'll use this one. <sighs> Deep breaths. It's been a moment since I've been able to get to you and I'm so sorry that I'm just now making this video. In my last video, I said that, you know, it would be a few days and it's been a little over a week already. It's life, man. Nothing goes the way that we want it to go or the way that we plan for it to go, right? There are just times in which you have plans and life throws your curveball, um, to use a baseball metaphor. Um, they have that expression, if you want to see God laugh, tell him about your plans. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of there right now. Um, one of my family members that's close, I mean a closely related family member, is pretty ill right now. And for those of you who watched my channel through the years, um, then you already know that October of 2017 is when I lost my brother. So I'd say right now I feel spiritually discombobulated. I don't know of a better way to put how I'm feeling. I'm just kind of running around to and fro, trying to do everything that I can to not really let it sink in that this person may be transitioning because it's something I don't want to think about. And I know that at some point we all do. And I know that deep within it's not anything to be afraid of and that the creator has my back no matter what, but it's too painful because this month is what it is. And I don't want to feel like I'm reliving the same thing, but through a different person. You know, they say that life is like a spiral and that you repeat some of the same mistakes and go through some of the same lessons at higher and higher levels. So, you know, I hope this isn't a level up of four years ago. You know, I'm really wanting this person to get well, um, as well as can be expected, um, because it is critical illness, and to come home and to, you know, be a part of my life and our family's life for a bit longer. I don't know what the ultimate plan is. I don't know if this person is losing the will and the physical um, aptitude to be able to hold on, but I'll put it this way. We're all going through a lot right now, and I'm going to say collectively, we as a society, as a country, as a world, as a planet, because of what's going on, you know? We're in a major world pandemic with about four different variations now of this thing I don't wanna name. <laughs> um, and it's got a stronghold, you know? We're trying to semi go about our lives like nothing's going on, but this is still here. There's no resolution to it. Um, you know, we're taking shots and wearing masks, some of us. Some of us are opting out of that plan. But, you know, either way, there are people who have become critically ill and who are no longer with us all because of that. Then at the same time, there are people that are critically ill with different illnesses that are being hospitalized and end up getting that thing that way. And I'm thinking about that, too, with my loved one. I don't want this person to get sick from this thing when they've already got all these other situations happening. So I'm dealing with a lot when I stop to think about it for a minute. But here's the thing that I really want to say to you, and I don't want to get bogged down with that. I'm taking a deep breath because my anxiety is kicking in a little bit. I'm still working on the video that I promised you. I'm still editing it. I had to stop because two different days I was dealing with hospitalizations. We thought everything was okay after the first hospitalization. It wasn't. So the second hospitalization happened with my loved one. 
Um, but I think you're gonna like this next video. I'm hoping it's the next. I think you're gonna like the video that I'm working on. I'll say it that way. I have not forgotten about my group of ladies that I created and drew and shared like how to do the complexion of the first one and realized the video was gonna be too long so I needed to divide up the work and divide up how I share that. So I will work on lady number two so you can see how that one turns out. And we'll problem solve together. That's all art is really for me. And I don't mean just drawing, writing, painting, that stuff. I mean all kinds of art. Music, the art of how you dress, the art of how you do your hair. Um, I decided today to let God do my hair, you know. <laughs> I always say God is my hairstylist. Um, so that's what happened today. And um, whatever my hair chooses to do on a particular day, I try to be obedient and listen to that, but I do need to protective style it, but that's a whole other video. And I do have shrinkage happening, so my hair is longer than it appears. Um, actually, there are parts of the back that go all the way down my back when I stretch it. <laughs> so that's how much shrinkage I have, but I'm digressing because... I don't want to obsess over um, the critical piece of my life that's unfolding. <sighs> what I'm hoping for you is that you honor who you are, the totality of who you are, because there's a lot happening this month. Just thinking about October, you know, a lot of Regions within the U.S. are breaking into fall. Temperatures are cooling down. People are wearing sweaters, maybe even coats. Um, you've got holidays that are going to be popping up left and right and everywhere. You've got breast cancer awareness this month. World Mental Health Day was just on the 10th. Um, what's today? The 12th. Yesterday was National Coming Out Day in the United States. Um, for those who need to do that or feel the need to do that. Um, all kinds of things this month. Events, holidays, special days. And every month has special days. And every day is special because you're on the planet. As long as you and I open our eyes... We can inhale, exhale, we've got another day. And maybe not necessarily in that order. As long as you're breathing, you've got a chance. You've got a chance to, with your energy, if nothing else, change what is happening in the world. So I'm wishing you peace. I'm wishing you love. I'm wishing you strength that you didn't even know you had in the midst of chaos. I'm wishing you a moment or two to yourself to pull out whatever it is that you use to express your artistry. Because we're all artists. Um, whether it's a sketchbook, a paintbrush and a canvas, a microphone, an instrument, tools in order to work on a car, Surgical tools in order to help save someone's life. Pots and pans and ingredients in a kitchen. No matter what the mechanism is that you use to express your life and express yourself and put your energy out there. I'm wishing you peace and love as you do that today and every day. I hope this video made some sense. If it didn't, charge it to my head, please, and not my heart. Because it's my intention to honor my word. And I said I would be back on in a few days. And when those few days passed, I'm like, oh, it's more days than I intended. And I don't want to pop up and it's like two, three months later. So I'll be doing some things on here as long as I have breath in my body and have the strength and the mental aptitude to turn on a camera and record. I wish you peace and love, and we will talk again soon.